Hello everyone and welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the delta T from your graph using the results of your calorimeter experiment. This kind of calorimeter is often described as the direct method and it's when we've got, for example, two solutions being mixed together in a polystyrene cup. We've recorded the temperature throughout this experiment from zero up to 12 minutes for every minute except minute four. At minute four, two solutions were mixed together and we didn't record the temperature change at that point. However, using the graph, as I'm gonna teach you on the next slide, we can find what the temperature change was at that fourth minute and use it in our Q equals MC delta T calculations. Let's get started. So what I've done already is plot the points onto the actual graph. And you can see here, I've already drawn two lines of best fit. Now, if you're looking at your results after you've plotted your points and you're thinking, well, mine are great, but they're absolutely the opposite way around from these. Let's say all your temperatures are low at the start and then higher at the end. It's because the one that you can see in front of you now on the screen is for an endothermic reaction. And you could be looking at the results for an exothermic reaction. You effectively do the same thing though with the results, so don't worry about it. Like I said, my points were already plotted, and after I've plotted all my points, I'll notice that I've got two different areas where I can have two different lines of best fit, and they've been drawn on in the black on this one. Now, I've also extrapolated the lines a little bit, which means I've just extended them to minute four. Now remember in the intro, I said at minute four, that's when my two solutions were mixed together inside the polystyrene cup and I didn't actually record the temperature at minute four because it would have been changing throughout that minute. You'll also notice that one of the points has been circled up in red and has got a big red arrow pointing at it. This is an anomalous result. It's clearly out of sync with the other points and so it isn't included in either of the two lines of best fit. Finding the delta T then is nice and simple. I've got one line drawn up at minute four and I've got my two lines of best fit, which I've extrapolated, which remember just means extended towards this line at minute four. Now, the difference between where the two lines of best fit cross at this line that I've drawn up at minute four is going to be my delta T. You can see I've labeled this on with a double-headed blue arrow, which is the vertical line that's been drawn onto the graph. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And don't forget, if you're looking at an exothermic reaction, then your results are going to be a bit upside down from this one, but you follow the same method. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to leave us a like and to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all future videos as they get uploaded. Until next time, happy revising.